Now, Nebraska's 2nd Congressional District has a history of contentious races. Well, this November, Democrat Tony Vargas takes a second shot at unseating incumbent Republican Don Bacon and taking his place in the House of Representatives. Look, okay, TV News Watch News, Quinesia Fraser sat down with Vargas, spoke with him about the major issues impacting you. Two years ago, Tony Vargas first ran against Republican Don Bacon in a race for the U.S. House. Vargas lost to the incumbent by just under 6,000 votes in the 2022 election. Now he's back, taking aim at Bacon again. And I think the biggest thing that feels different is just the energy and the people. This time, Vargas says he has nearly 1,000 volunteers for his campaign. We're doing everything we can to be able to earn everybody's vote in this district. I asked the current state senator what his top issues are in this race. His first, the cost of living and the economy as a whole. I've been hearing it from friends and family and people in our community that cost of living matters. And... You know, I voted for $6 billion worth of tax relief. Vargas's solution is to create a fair tax system that puts small businesses on an equal playing field with bigger corporations. He also calls for trade policies that allow Nebraska's industries to better compete and sell their products across the globe. And Vargas says the United States needs to hold China accountable. And I think we need somebody that is going to take the hard votes when it matters the most. When it comes to abortion rights, Vargas wants to codify them into federal law. This decision should remain between a woman and their physician and it's personal to me because it's not just with my daughter this is we we've heard stories of individuals that have had been raped and don't get the opportunity to make a decision and have to carry the term. Vargas tells KETV he's also concerned about securing Nebraska's District 2 electoral vote in the presidential election. He's calling out Bacon for signing on to a September 19th letter led by Congressman Mike Flood that supports Nebraska returning to a winner-take-all system. That tells me he cares less about Nebraska's second district voters. Vargas hopes to change what he's calling an ineffective Congress. ABC News reports the 118th Congress passed the lowest number of bills in the first year of a session since the Great Depression. They can't even pass budgets. And Don Bacon has been part of this Congress and has, you know, been a self-proclaimed leader as part of it. And that means he is part of the ineffectiveness. Vargas now has weeks to reach undecided voters in hopes that they'll choose him to represent the district they live and work in. Again, Vargas is facing incumbent Republican Don Bacon this November. You can see our candidate profile of Bacon right now on KETV.com and the mobile app. Rob, back to you. All right, Quinesia, thanks.